Now take the statement car Audi equal to new car. Now in this statement, what we have here car Audi is called as declaration. Now what we have here the new car in this new keyword is called as instantiation. What is called as instantiation. What do you mean by instantiation? Means memory allocated for members of the class. Data members as well as member methods. Now the last part what you see car is called as initialization. This part is called as initialization. Why it is called as initialization? The reason is simple. After we create the object, the memory whatever is allocated, in that memory the values get initialized also. The values get initialized also. So for example, let's see this in practical. Okay, see here now we have this, we learned the object creation process. In that actually the, these two steps are important because we can have an individual statement like this. This will also create an object. So this is declaration is just if you want to access it later. Now we learned that when new car is created, uh, this is called as instantiation and this is called as initialization. What do you mean by that? When it's a car already equal to new car, what happens in the memory? First the memory is allocated for a reference called RD. It is pointing to a location where memory for all the members of class car is created. So the process will not just stop here. The data members, these guys get initialized also. So height is initialized with zero, weight is initialized with zero, basically 0, 0.0 because they are double and speed is also 0, 0.0. Color is initialized with null. How these values are getting initialized? So the reason is because this part what you see here, car is actually a method, isn't it? And do we have a method called car here? We don't have a method called car, but don't you think we're supposed to get the error? But if you go ahead and compile as a Java C car test dot Java, Java space car test. When this compilation is not giving any error and there is no other output either. <coughs> so it's not giving us an error. What is the reason? Even though we don't have a method called car, still the it is compiling through. The reason is because this is basically called as a constructor. What it does when the object creation happens in the process of object creation after the instantiation that is memory is allocated. This guy is called as a default constructor. We will study about the constructor in the coming lessons. This guy will initialize all the members wherever the memory has been allocated for all the members with some default value. So what are the default value? Why for numeric type it is zero? Why for color it is null? That I am going to teach you in the constructor chapter. To summarize, the first thing which happens is instantiation. The second thing which happens is initialization. Now that memory is allocated, we can access them using dot operator. Let's say rd dot i t equal to let's say 100. rd dot weight equal to let's say 200. rd dot color equal to let's assign a color called blue. Now same way speed you can assign some value. Now what I will do, I will have rd dot height and let's also print the speed also, rd dot speed. Now same way let me assign some values for what Ford also, color equal to let's say red. Now what happens in the memory? See, audit dot it equal to be assigned 100. The value will change here to 100. Audit dot it weight equal to be assigned 200. The value will change here. Same way, color we assign blue. The value will change here. Now, when you say 4 dot it equal to 10, 4 is a reference pointing to some other location. In its side position, the value will change to 10. Weight value will change to 20 and so on. So, rd dot i is referring to some location, 4 dot i is referring to completely different location. So using the dot operator, we can access like this. Let me also print this, the 4, 4 dot, let me put on divider here. Now if I compile and execute, 
what is output I see? One is R point object has no output here. Four dot height weight color speed as so that is ten twenty red and for speed we haven't initialized anything. So this guy someone called constructor will initialize that is zero point zero, and same goes here. So this will print hundred two hundred blue and for speed it will print zero point zero. This is the output we are expecting. Java C or test dot Java. Java space or test. Is it clear? So we studied that using dot operator we can access data members. Not only the data members, in fact, you can actually call member methods also. Say at the end here, after I'll again add one divider for the clarity. Now I'll say for dot. You remember we have a method called start. Same way, add dot start. Now what do we see? What is the output of start method? That is I return color dot car started. So it will access R D will access the color assigned in this object that is blue. Whereas Ford will access the color assigned in this object that is red. So you see red dot red color started and blue color started. Is it clear? To summarize what we studied, the important part here is object creation process, and we studied using dot operator, that is period symbol, we can access the data members as well as member methods. See you in the next video.